What is up guys? My name is Alfred Montanier and I got mind-boggling stuff that I just found out. Mercury Marine today, February 11th, has just announced a brand new 600 horsepower, that's right, 600 horsepower V12 outboard engine. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the video that they actually just released and uh, we can talk about it along the way. Mind-blowing stuff, I just did a live. But let's get your popcorn. This is a history of first let's and foremost. Watch. Let's just watch this together. A history of constant improvements. Through advanced design, engineering, and manufacturing capabilities, we've set and we set the standards for reliable performance, superior power, and unmatched fuel economy. Six hundred horsepower. Innovation is why nobody has given boaters more ways to propel their on-water activities with unrelenting reliability, comfort, and efficiency than Mercury Marine. Today, we once again redefine the way horsepower meets the water. Nice little dramatic intro, I like it. the limits of what you can accomplish with the marine engine it's incredibly reliable with less maintenance required it delivers remarkable fuel efficiency and range this is the outboard that lets boaters go fuel efficiency and, and range a v12 we've pushed the design to make this engine not only more elegant but also improve the experience while underway it's the quietest high horsepower outboard ever built it's remarkably smooth. It truly elevates the standards of premium design and engineering. Is it more quiet more than the 450 the then? Water, more enjoyable. Then we focused on the driving experience and created a new way to steer an outboard engine. With the engine static on the transom, nothing moves above the water. But under the water, the twin prop gear case steers independently. No! Our digital controls and joystick piloting combined with this innovative feature make close... The engine stays here. The lower unit, unit will unit shift and while turn. Also delivering exceptional handling at all speeds. And of course, we didn't hold back on horsepower. We built the most powerful outboard what? in the history of Mercury. It has an incredible... V the 600 horsepower, I knew we were going to get to that lower unit turning horsepower on its own independently from the actual two speed transmission, which can power the heaviest boats out of the hole quickly while contributing to unsurpassed fuel economy and sound levels at cruise. I'm proud to represent the more than 7,000 Mercury employees across the globe in introducing the most advanced outboard ever designed. The new Mercury 7.6 liter 7 .6. 600 horsepower Murado. The future of outward performance. Where does this today. end? Guys, this is innovation right here. Look, 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 look. Wait. I gotta see how that just, that means your turning radius is gonna be very, uh, a, a lot better. Think about it, you'll be able to turn a lot more because the engines in most of those big boats, you can't turn them all the way and they can't turn on the themselves. V12 600 horsepower Verado really raises the bar for outboard performance. 
We did this by building on the world-class engineering standards that we established with the original Verado outboard. It's even quieter and smoother than any previous Verado, can run twice as long between scheduled service, and has the technology to deliver profound fuel economy. And by rethinking how every engine system interacts, quieter than any previous Verado performance that our customers demand. That's crazy. While providing the luxury boating experience not possible with any other outboard. I'm Tim Reed, Vice President of Product Development and Engineering at Mercury Marine. I'm blown away. That's we nuts. started by engineering a nationally aspirated nano-angle V12 powerhead. This allowed us to achieve the displacement needed for 600 horsepower while still occupying less transit and cockpit space than competitive high horsepower products. That's a huge practical advantage in the market where boaters are constantly looking for more total horsepower. We also knew that we needed to deliver a high level of acceleration and performance on bigger and heavier boats. To accomplish this, we developed the outboard industry's first two-speed automatic transmission. First gear is 20% lower than second gear, which generates high propeller torque and the ability to accelerate the boat to plane out on plane quickly. The engine continues to deliver power and accelerations through its power shift all the way to rated speed. But the most impressive part about the transmission is, unless you're watching the tack, you won't even know it shifts. It's so smooth that it's nearly imperceptible. Two-speed transmission, guys. To improve handling and make the experience of driving a large boat easier, we engineered a remarkable solution. The V12 Verado has the outboard segment's first steerable gear case. Look at this. While the gear case steers, the rest Look at of the outboard remains perfectly still in the back of the boat. No! This helps with mounting multiple 600 horsepower oh my. engines multiple. with space on the transit. But the oh. steerable gear case also enhances maneuverability no. and the experience of operating the boat. While conventional outboards Look. typically steer 30 degrees each What I was way, saying earlier. The V12 Verado can steer 45 degrees under joystick operation. That gives much more authority to effectively maneuver a large Big boat. innovation there, guys. Rotating props provide the large blade area and lift needed to get big boats out of the hole quickly with better efficiency. And with the lower propeller speed in first gear, you really get precise handling at docking speeds. All these advanced features deliver a true luxury boat experience for recreational boaters. Yet we also designed this engine to be reliable and durable enough to meet the demands of our commercial sea pro customers. That means rugged components, superior hardening, and an incredibly 500 validation to ensure the they're showing a 500 that means the same block you'll have a 500 option and a 600 option this is the most powerful outboard we've ever built yet every time we take someone out in the boat to experience it they're blown away by how smooth and quiet it is they can barely hear the engine running when we drop the throttle and it puts them back in their seat and you can just see them light up wow and they get it it's luxury performance that could only come from Mercury. This is this is game changing innovations, guys. They have the 450, the closest horsepower motor is a 425 from Yamaha. Our um, strategy when we were creating the V12 Seven Marine is no longer making the, 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 the Seven Marine engine. Like all of our recent outboards, it's a really visually dynamic engine. It looks fast. Even when it's sitting still, it has a defined backbone that sets up what we call the push, where it looks like it's pushing the boat forward, ready to propel you on your next adventure. I'm Todd Vandenberg, Director of Industrial Design at Mercury Marine. We wanted this engine to have an even bolder design than our successful V8 and V6 engine but not be so aggressive. So it stands up a little more. It has a very monolithic form, like it was carved from a solid piece. You can feel it has a very bold and confident presence. Even the lines on the engine have a sense of- Which kind of makes sense, because it's mostly going to be on big, big boats. You can follow them from the top to the bottom. There are no abrupt turns. It's less fighter jet and more corporate jet. Very clean, very steady. And when you look at it, especially not on a boat, how much does this thing weigh? Right. It feels like what a luxury outboard should be: strong, reliable, sophisticated, refined. It looks Our nice. Our other goal was to create a design that really elevated the boating experience. You can start seeing that with the controls. The V12 Verado has Mercury's new next-gen digital throttle and shift system. The new controls are sleek. They're ergonomic. We made them more intuitive by adding features like push button access to active trim, which automatically adjusts trim for optimal performance. 
and the option for digital display on the control. They're designed to draw your hand to the throttle. When you touch them, you can't help but want to drive this engine. That experience of an intuitive user interface continues with the hood. It's not a service hatch. It's a hood like on your car. When you press the electronic release, there's a little toomph when it pops. This is you insane, open it and guys. And the gas strut holds it in place. It's a really polished experience. And functionally, the hood allows for service to be done with the boat still in the water. So you don't have to hassle with hauling the boat out. Even if you never plan to do your own maintenance, when you look under the hood, you can see that we've scrutinized every aspect of this engine. It's very clean. The touch points are color coded. Even the service infographics went through months of refinement. That's so crazy. The fact we went through so much effort to perfect the little that details means that you can have really how two engines as opposed to three and have 1200 horsepower instead of having three 300s. There's nothing like this engine out there. It doesn't owe any trends. The B12 Verado sets the I mean, I'm sorry. It's truly three 400s. I'm sorry about that. Brand. And it will be quad. You would compare about a two of those quad uh, 400s. Technology and investing in our which is mind blowing. Capabilities are what enable Mercury to create innovative products like the new B12 Verado. Those That's capabilities crazy. also put us in a unique position to really define what output performance will be in the future in a way that will have major impacts on the boating industry. We're really proud of this engine. It captures what's possible when you apply consumer feedback to design marine propulsion as a complete ecosystem that incorporates digital controls, intelligent fuel systems, hydrodynamics, propeller design, and all the other concepts that Mercury has mastered. The V12 Verado delivers a new level of capability and luxury for Mercury and provides boat builders options they never thought possible. And finally, as you should expect from the leading innovator in marine propulsion, this launch marks the latest, but certainly not the last leap forward in Mercury's journey to redefine performance. That's a test. Reliability That's a tease. Owners. That's a tease of some other innovation they're going to probably bring out soon. Freedom to seek new horizons. That's another tease right there. And I wouldn't be surprised they have to do something with a, a, the, an electric motor or, or the future. But I'll tell you, with, with that lower unit being able to drive itself, the docking scenarios are going to be uh, such a huge advantage. Wow, I am dual prop. I mean, I got to find out how much it weighs. I, they didn't say how much it weighs, but we'll find out. There it is, guys. That is the new 600 horsepower from Mercury Marine. Um, they knocked that out of the park. Good job, everyone at Mercury. You guys, I mean, innovation. I think, I think what's beautiful about this also, this opens up the floodgates for people to step up their game. So all these other manufacturers um, will step up their game. And here's the thing, right? When companies like Mercury push the limits like this, and maybe other companies don't want to compete on this level, and then they'll actually start, you know, maybe attacking other markets that average people can buy, like a 200 or 300 or 350 uh, engine that maybe won't be able to compete with this, but they'll, they'll give us innovations at that range and who knows, Mercury might do it it's th themselves as well. So it's going to see how the market and how the other uh, engine, uh, outboard engine manufacturers respond to this. I know there's stuff on the pipeline, guys. So we'll talk about that when that comes. Like I said, congratulations to everyone at Mercury. You guys have, I mean, all I got to do is just, I, I mean, a 60, you know, HCB, uh, maybe a cigarette Tirana, that 60 Midnight, the Gulfstream, the 52. I mean, think about it. Now you can put four of them. I, I challenge, I challenge one of you manufacturers to put six of these bad boys on a mega super center console, and I will do a video of your boat, and I will be in the back of those transom, hoping, hoping that the torque doesn't rip off the whole boat from the center. It's just 
mind-boggling that you can have 3,600 horsepower on a boat with outboard engines. It's sick. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Alfred Montaner. Amazingness, that's what we do. Blown away. I'm out of here. Boom! Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.